Hey everyone, this is Exploring Fiction, and welcome back to another video. Hey, before we get to the video, check this out. 99% of my viewers are not subscribed. If you're a part of that 99%, please consider subscribing, as I would love to have you here. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So guys, a while ago I covered the Rings of Power a little bit when some of the first still images came out, but... It's been a while since then, a couple trailers have dropped, some cast interviews have dropped, and I have more thoughts on the Rings of Power. So let's get right into it. The Lord of the Rings, and the rest of Tolkien's Legendarium, is extremely important to me and many others, and the Rings of Power is a stain on its legacy. The Rings of Power is anti-fantasy. Fantasy is supposed to take us into a world of escapism where we should have fun discovering all the differences from our own world and really live somewhere else without going anywhere at all. You know, the point of fantasy is to have build a world with great characters and sometimes hateable ones that we can escape into and enjoy. And you know, sometimes themes and tone from the real world can be embedded into fantasy in a in a crafty and masterful way so that we can draw meaning from it for our own lives but the point of fantasy is to not be a copy paste of the real world where where all ideas and ideologies from the real world are just put into a fantasy setting fantasy is supposed to be somewhere where, where we can escape and maybe draw meaning in some sort of way Instead, the Rings of Power has given all indications that it is interested in injecting issues, talking points, and ideas from our own world into Middle-earth. Why would anyone want to watch something trying so hard to remind us of the harsh reality of our lives? How can Amazon and the Rings of Power showrunners be so blatantly and completely disrespectful to Tolkien and his legacy so as to misconstrue it and make it their own in this way? Who are they to do this? You know, in my opinion... Tolkien, J.R.R. Tolkien, and Christopher Tolkien are the only two who can add to, publish, or edit parts of the Legendarium. And so Amazon is really going off on their own here, and I think that's why it's being rejected so hard, the Rings of Power, that is. It's just Amazon and the showrunners trying to inject real-world ideas into a fantasy setting, and it's just... Not at all what Tolkien stood for when he wrote Lord of the Rings and all of his Middle-earth works, and I think it's completely disrespectful. All I can say is, it's a shame Amazon has this much control of Tolkien's work, and it's good they don't have more. Well, they may be able to get their hands on more of it, who knows in this day and age, there still is hope. Reject Rings of Power. Support other creators and works that care about you and want to make a world to escape to. Fantasy is supposed to be escapism, and while tones and themes from the real world can give us meaning and be present in a fantasy story, the real world shouldn't be the focus of a fantasy story. And so for that reason, The Rings of Power is anti-fantasy. So guys, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of this video and my ideas in it. Um, you know, I am not going to watch or support The Rings of Power. At the very most, I may read some articles about the plot synopsis. However, that's just to get an idea of how bad it is. I'm not actually going to watch it, because why would I support it that much in that way? Um, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you. And like always, I will see you next time.